Africa is the fastest growing market for new technology in the world. Most of the continents never had access to landlines, so the mobile network is striding ahead. Across the board, ICT is spurring innovation and new solutions to old problems. The Vice President of the European Commission, Neely Cruz, came to Nairobi to take part in an international conference on the future of the Internet, but wanted to see too how new technology is making a difference to the people who live in the city. At this primary school in one of the poorest parts of town, the children now have access to second-hand donated computers, and it's opening up a different future. What is fascinating, when I got a tour around the school and I was asking those little girls and boys who were just uh, using the computer, what are you planning to do? They all had a job in mind connected with computers, connected with the whole technical development. So isn't that great? This is an incubator for new technology startups in Nairobi. 5,000 entrepreneurs come here to share ideas, look for investment and plan how to make the digital world improve lives for everyone here. You use your mobile phone. In case you're in trouble, you press a button and it alerts you in case of emergency contact, all of them. How long did it take to develop that app? Oh, to develop the app, yeah. it took about six months. There are projects here offering mobile banking, making it easier to find a doctor, even helping farmers get the best prices at market. At the Kibera Health Clinic, evidence that new technology could hold the key to ending Kenya's chronic shortage of registered nurses. These students didn't need to wait for a rare place at college. They learn online, their work monitored and marked remotely. In the last six years, 7,000 of them have qualified. That type of projects are so inspiring, so I'm more hopeful that this part of the world is also getting a complete different um, perspective for their future.